Well, hey everyone, it's Scott again with OnlineIncomeBlogger.com and what I have today for you is a short little video of something that I just figured out and I'm changing it myself on my YouTube channel. And I just wanted to show you this because I think it's uh, pretty cool and you might be searching around for how to change your thumbnail on your YouTube video uh, if you have a YouTube account that you're uploading videos to. Because how annoying is that when you put up a video and it doesn't let you select your thumbnail. I mean, if someone's scrolling, uh, not even here, but if they're going and doing a search on on the regular, uh, you know, on your regular YouTube search, you see those little thumbnails. That's really sometimes what grabs your attention. Well, like this one here. This doesn't grab my attention. This doesn't. I mean, this doesn't really either. But you know, it is a face. A lot of times, faces do better. Uh, or you can just do some big bold text. But I'm going to show you how I figured this out because what I noticed was I couldn't change the thumbnail. If I go into Video Manager right here, I would go into here and uh, I w it wouldn't allow me to change the thumbnail because the way that you used to do it or the way that you would go in and choose what thumbnail because they give you three to pick from that they basically select. Let me just click on this. You'll see right here it says set uh, as thumbnail, set as thumbnail and it just randomly picks something and a lot of times it's you with your mouth open uh, or you know your eyes closed or whatever or maybe just a bad screenshot. But here you see this here where it says custom thumbnail. Now you may be looking at this going, well, Scott, I don't have I don't have that. I've looked for that button and I can't find it. Well, I literally just turned this on this morning and I'm going to show you how I did it. You see this right here where it says monetization? That's allowing you to basically take and let AdSense uh, advertise on your video. Now all you have to do is turn this on. You do not have to uh, monetize every single video. You can do it on just one video and then it'll turn on all of these features and when you do that it allows you to change the custom thumbnail. So here's how you do it. Go into your channel settings and then go from here where it says monetization and just turn that on. Go to view monetization settings and then just say monetize videos. I've already done it but it'll do that. It'll ask you to agree to the terms and services and then once you do that it usually happens almost instantly. But what's going to happen is it's going to monetize all of your videos. So then what you would need to do is go back into your video manager and you can see over here, see not monetized, not monetized. I turned all these off. The only one that I have monetized right now is this one right here I did um, on how to create a logo, uh, that one there, and I just turned that one on. So all it's going to do is just display a quick little ad over top of the video in the, either in the beginning or in the middle and uh, people can click off of it. Uh, but if you don't want to monetize, now you may want to monetize all of your all of your videos, and that's fine. You know, I you know if that's your model, then go ahead. You know, do it. I've got some channels that I do, and I'll be sharing that in the future um, on uh, you know my website and my blog on onlineincomeblogger.com. I'll be sharing that. But to do this now, to upload one, let, let's go ahead and change this one now. I've already got an image set, so let me just show you how I would change that. I would just go in here, and uh, you want to click on the edit button. And then from there, you're going to see those thumbnails again. And you should see this here where it says custom thumbnail. All right. And then you go ahead and you click on that. You go ahead and you find it where it says whatever you know image that you want. And then go ahead and it's going to upload it. And I've found that the best uh, size, actually, let me go in here to Photoshop just so you can see. This particular uh, size is uh, 720 by 405. Or if you have an actual screen grab, you can do 1280 by 720. That's really HD, so you could use those. But that's the one that I used. Um, if you don't give it a size, it'll scale it. Uh, it'll just take uh, that portion and crop it. So you want, if you want to use all of that real estate, like I did here, like like I wrote how to really connect, just to kind of get the curiosity going. Um, then you see it, and then I would just go here and uh, you know select that one that that's the image that I want. To be displayed. So if I wanted to change that image, I would just click on change image and it'll allow me to change it. So just go ahead and hit save changes. And I'm not sure if it's going to update it instantly. We'll find that out here in a second. And let's go back to our video manager and let's see if that's updated. It did instantly. Look at that. So there it is now. So how to really connect. So that's what's going to be shown uh, in the uh, thumbnail preview now. So if we go back to my YouTube channel and let's just see that thumbnail. Uh, no, now see it hasn't updated yet. Okay, so it, it hasn't updated yet. It did in my video manager, so we know that that's the, the correct image. Sorry about that squeaking. That's my dog squeaking on his toy. Brody, keep it down. Uh, so that's how you do it, and that will be updated um, very, very soon. 
So that's it. That's how you change your thumbnail image. Hope this has helped you. If you have any questions uh, or any struggles and you want me to answer them, just send me an email or head over to onlineincomeblogger.com and leave me a comment over there and uh, I'll go ahead and try to get it answered for you. All right, so take care, talk to you soon and get those thumbnails changed.